In this video, we're gonna talk about three exercises that I think are essential for all elderly individuals. I'm Kyle Hemsley, doctor of chiropractic, and my mission is simple, to simplify exercise and rehab so that you feel like you can self-manage many of these conditions in the comfort of your own home. It is my belief that as humans, we all need the ability to squat down and stand up, to hinge or bend forward and pick something off of the ground or a surface and stand, and to be able to open things, open doors, open jars or cans, open the top of a toothpaste, etc. If we lose these abilities, then we lose some level of autonomy. With these three things in mind, I've designed three exercises to hopefully improve your ability to do these things. Exercise number one, a squat. I've started with a chair squat, which could also be a countertop squat or a squat holding onto railing. If you use a chair, um, put something heavy in the chair so that it actually doesn't fall over with you. So I put a 44 pound kettlebell in the chair and then I'm gonna use the back of the chair here just to offload some weight and allow me to train the squat without a ton of load so I can slowly build from here. So I want you to assume a comfortable stance. It doesn't have to be toes straight ahead, feet right under your hips. Feel free to experiment, go wide and toes out if that feels better or go narrow, whatever works for you. And then I'm literally gonna use the chair to support my weight as I bend down and squat. Now you may not get as low as me, that's totally fine. You may just start here and that's all you can take and then come back up and down. That's all you can take and then come back up. Notice how I am sitting down with my hips though, because the idea with this is to load the quads and the knees and you may feel a little discomfort there. That's totally okay. So I'm trying to go chest up and hips down. And as I start to get lower, I'll need a little bit more help from the chair to get me back up. So the progression of the last one is squatting to the chair. So find a comfortable stance and then use your hands out in front of you for a counterbalance. Reach back and try and touch the chair and stand. Notice that I just touched. You could also sit, although I don't want you to try and use a ton of momentum to stand, because then we're kind of defeating the purpose of the exercise. So control it down, tap and stand. If your chair is too high, find something else or just stack some pillows. And now you just go to here and stand, take one pillow away, here and stand. And before you know it, you don't even need the chair anymore. And that's the next progression. So now the chair is gone, the squat remains the same. Just reach your hips back as if you're trying to touch the chair. Trust yourself because you've done enough to know you can get back up and then just perform the squat. So we're gonna go here, down like you're gonna to touch, as low as you're comfortable with, and then stand. If you feel like you can get hips down below your knees like this, then go for it. But there's also nothing wrong with staying within this range. And the last progression, as you probably guessed, is just adding a little bit of weight. It could be as much as a water bottle, it could be a chihuahua, your cat, whatever. Or if you have some weights, you could hold a kettlebell like I have here. And a kettlebell, this is just called a goblet squat. We would just hold it here, squat, and up. Okay, so exercise number two is going to be a single leg reach or hinge progressed to a single leg deadlift. Now you can definitely do a two-legged version of this but I find that doing a single leg option requires much more balance and coordination. 
And I think that's a good thing to challenge ourselves with as we age. So the easiest version of this is going to be one foot down with a little softness in the knee, one foot up, and then you're gonna bend forward at the waist and reach for the inside of your right knee, if it's your left hand, and stand. Now I have the chair here for balance if I need it. So one hand could be lightly on the chair and then the other hand reaches for the inside of the knee. And then to progress this, we just slowly work our way down further and further. And then finally would be the back of the heel if you can get there. And then again, the less, uh, the less need for the chair, the better. And do it floating with no balance support, if possible. And to progress this, we would just add some weight. You could use a water bottle or something you have around the house to add a little weight. Or obviously if you have dumbbells or kettlebells, that's great. Same idea here. We're gonna put the kettlebell inside the foot Use the chair for balance if needed. And then I'm gonna have you sneak this leg back, bend forward at the waist, lift the kettlebell, stand tall, and then put it back down where you started from. Notice that the kettlebell is back towards my heel. I like this because it challenges the hip a little bit more, but if you wanna lower it down towards the toe, that's totally okay. Okay, exercise number three, working on your grip strength. Now there's a ton of different ways to do this. The reason I chose this way is because all you need is a kitchen towel. So the four main motions of the wrist are extension, flexion, and supination or palm up and pronation. If we work on these four, exercises, it'll build up the majority of the muscles that contribute to hand and forearm strength and could do us a lot of good. <clears throat> so, so grab a towel, fold it in half, and then start to twist it up a little bit. We're gonna first work on flexion. So we're gonna twist it in that direction until it gets pretty taut. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten the arms and then go into that range with a little bit of the towel resistance. And then release and come out. Go again, release and come out. Pretty simple, right? Now to go into extension, we're bringing the knuckles back to the forearm. We just reverse the direction of the towel. Grab it here and then pull back against the resistance into extension and release. So we did flexion, we did extension. Next we'll go supination. I'm gonna unfold the towel. We're going to put your hand into pronation, okay? Which is palm down. Let the towel hang, pull down with your other hand, and then you're just going to with resistance, rotate into supination. Rotate into supination, okay? Good way to remember supination is just holding a bowl of soup. Now we're gonna go from supination down into pronation. So working the muscles of pronation. The towel is gonna go on the outside of you with the palm up. You're gonna grasp it here between your thumb and finger, ring finger, uh, pointer finger, excuse me. And then give some resistance down from the outside and then simply roll in and roll in. Obviously the harder you pull with the other arm, the more resistance you're gonna get. That concludes the video for today. I hope these were helpful. And if you're still with me, I appreciate you watching for this long. As always, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. We'll see you next time.